Hey guys, so in light of everything, um, you guys may have seen my mother's uh, video, stocks and related to that. I thought I would take the time to, for those who don't understand or have no idea like anything about stocks, I thought I would make a video explaining a couple different things related to it, just to give some people an idea on stocks. Now, when it comes to investing and stock investing, there's very many ways of doing things. So there's very many ways of actually trading in the stock market. There's very many ways of day trading. There's very many ways of investing. There's very different ways of buying stocks, selling stocks, um, and so much more. So we're just gonna cover a few. So with trading stocks, there's long-term investing, which long-term means you buy stocks in a company and you just let it sit there long-term in hopes that it keeps continuing to go up. There's dividend stock investing where you buy stocks and I have a video that's coming out explaining dividends in much greater detail, which is what I personally like doing. But dividend stock investing is investing in companies that pay dividends and basically um, every quarter, every six months, once a year, these companies reward people for owning their shares and they pay back a certain percentage. It's been, you know, some companies have been paying dividends out for 30 plus years. Um, it's a great way for people to make passive income. It's the most truest form of passive income that you can make. Um, a lot of people will have dividend stocks in their IRA accounts. Um, there's, you, you can buy stocks for pennies, for dollars. Um, for example, you could buy $10 worth of Apple, even though Apple is more than $10 per share. There's just tons of different investing in different ways. Um, day trading, day trading is you basically are buying and selling within the day. So you're buying stocks let's say at 9 a.m. you're buying stocks at a price and then you're hoping to sell it for a higher price within that same day. That's called day trading. So a lot of people will buy it and if they're taking a loss, they'll sell it even though it's for a loss because they don't wanna hold on to that stock for more than a day. Because if you buy and it goes down and you're losing money and you hold it on for more than a day, the next day you could wake up and it could be crashed down even more and you're losing even more money. So day trading is, is pretty much that. You're following the chart, you're following the flow, and you're buying the dip or you're buying where you think could be a good price, and then when it bounces, you sell for a profit. That is day trading. Now, that's the simplest form of day trading. There's also other things that I never recommend, and I, I've said it in videos, I never recommend it, is number one, trading options. I, now a lot of people make money on it, I understand that a lot of people can get ahead doing that a lot of people can lose their bank lose their house doing it I will never recommend trading options and I will never recommend trading on margin trading options I'm not even gonna go into it because I don't even want anyone to know anything about it if you don't know don't trade options that's my personal opinion and that's what I've always believed um, number two margin margin is you're basically using um, the institutions money so let's say you're using Robin Hood or you're using another trading company what they'll do is they'll give you margin let's say you have fifty thousand dollars in your stock account though actually you they'll actually not let you don't have to use your fifty thousand you can actually use their money forced to buy stocks which is so stupid but you can actually use their money you can keep your, your whole 50,000, you can keep it in there and you can use their money plus your money and then you can buy a ton of shares and you can make a ton of profit until, until you have those shares in that company and let's say it's, going, it's, it's crashing. Well, you don't wanna sell for a loss because then you're gonna lose their money and your money so you just hold on. Well, let's just say it keeps crashing. You can get something called a margin call which means if it drops so low, that company that you borrowed, you're using their margin, they will actually force you to sell at whatever price they want so they can get their money back. So you lose money all over the board. I think it's stupid. Yeah, people make a lot of money doing it and you can make money so fast, I don't care. It's stupid. If you're gonna trade in the stock market, um, day trading or any kind of trading, like actual trading, 
I believe in the cost average trading, which is I put a hundred dollars in a in a in a company in a stock, and if it the value drops, then I add a little bit more to that to bring my total average down. And if it drops more, I add a little bit more. And as it keeps dropping, I keep adding shares to it. I keep adding shares as it keeps dropping. Now, number one, you have to pick sound companies. Number two, I like if I do that, I will pick dividend companies. So if I'm stuck holding for a loss. The nice thing about that is you don't ever have to sell. It's your money. It's you, you never have to sell. You're not forced to sell. Like with options and margin, you have no choice. You got to sell a lot of times. So with just regular trading, um, you can hold on and, until that company either goes bankrupt or goes back up, wherever. You can hold on until the cows come home. But by cost averaging, you bring your average down. So eventually, a lot of times, you know, over the course of months or even years it will bounce back up to break even or even in profit so that's one way of kind of it's not really day trading it's day trading but also just regular trading so that is one option that i believe in but also i also don't believe in you go hardcore into it for example you put a hundred dollars in let's say you have ten thousand dollars i would say you put a hundred dollars in your first share if it drops against you put another hundred dollars in if it drops against you put another hundred dollars in as you can see it could go pretty much to the floor and you still would have probably um a lot of your money still left over um that's one way now i don't trade that way anymore um, because I like the Warren Buffett method. The Warren Buffett method is you buy and you hold on for dear life until until someday you make a lot of profit or until someday you decide to sell out. Um, but dividend investing is very smart, which is buying companies that are solid, safe companies that pay dividends. Uh, it's a great way to make passive income. But uh, day trading options, day trading margin is the dumbest thing I, I think anybody can do. And people argue with me on it about it because you can make a lot of money doing that it is stupid i will never ever recommend that to anybody um even day trading the way that i said that i support even that you it's it's extremely risky but the difference is if you're day trading or you're week trading like i said which is cost averaging you buy a share it let's say you buy a share for a hundred dollars you buy one share hundred dollars it drops to ninety five dollars then you buy a second share um now you have two shares one at a hundred one at ninety five so you have you take those two shares and you're not gonna um you know you're gonna owe in between that so you're gonna have a value in between the the 95 and 100 so you're not going to have two shares at 200 dollars you're going to have one at 100 one at 95 and as you keep buying you cost average you bring your average um, cost down each time and that's just I like that and of course when I talk about that I talk about a little bit of money you don't you don't go and drop one thousand two thousand three four five six thousand dollars each time it drops I don't believe in that um, but even what I just said even cost averaging is very risky and you only do that with money that you're willing to lose all so when it comes to cost average trading you only trade money that you're willing to lose it all that you, you don't care so that's why where i say it's kind of that oh fun money you know it's that hobby money you know you, you never use it on your savings you never use your retirement money you never do any of that with with that kind of stuff that's just money that you had set aside that you would spend on a car or a truck or a hobby but your hobby is cost average trading but again i currently don't do that anymore right now um i'm not against cost average trading um but for me it's just easier just to max out our ira and focus on dividends for the 30 years future so that's a little breakdown of the stock market um and a little bit breakdown on day trading and trading in general um but again you know whatever you're doing whatever way you're trading um it's all risk even dividend investing everything's risky but here's the thing, to not play the game is risky as well. You know, a lot of people will leave comments saying, shame on this, shame on that. Well, there's risk in everything we do. We, we get in our car and go to the grocery store, there's risk that we're going to die. There's risk our car's going to just shut down, shut off and our brakes lock up or someone's going to hit us. There's Everything in life, there's risk. It's all about managing that risk. Um, and it's all about knowing, you know, if you can get rich quick doing something, then you can get broke quick 
doing it. And chances are you're gonna get rich quick, slower, and broke quicker. So that's my method. You know, if something is a, there's a, there's a chance of getting rich very quick, then there's even a massive, way bigger chance of getting broke quicker. So that's kind of how I look at investments and stuff. If there's, if I'm going into something where, oh, I could get rich quick, quick, then I also think, you know what though, I could get broke way faster than I'm probably going to get rich. So I'm not even going to do it. Um, and that's a good way to look at things. So it's a little breakdown. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I will um, answer your questions, maybe in video form and stuff. Uh, I know it's confusing for a lot of people on stocks, but not all stocks are bad. Please understand that. And not, not all investing is bad either. Please understand that. If you would invest in the S&P and the S&P index, so S&P, I believe is S&P 500, over the last 30 years, you would have made 12% on your money. Um, investing is not bad. In fact, it's, it's very important for retirement. The problem is listening to these gurus or these YouTubers that talk about get rich quick, anything, anytime there's any chance of getting rich fast or making money fast, walk away. Dividend investing is making money slow. Investing in a company um, for retirement is often very slow. Maxing out your IRA, it's very slow. You put $7,000 in a year, it just slowly over time, one year you're up, one year you're down, one year you're up, but you do it to save the money so you don't spend that money. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment.